So what we're doing here is we're starting SketchUp. When it starts up, we're going to have this uh, this little screen that looks like this. We want to go to the one that says Template. We want to make sure we're on the one that says Architectural Design, feet and inches. Um, this mostly just tells us that we're going to measure uh, using imperial feet and inches units as opposed to meters because uh, that's the unit we're more familiar with. I'm going to click start using SketchUp. What I will see now is a guy named Derek and then I'm going to see three axes. Um, <clears throat> the axes, one goes up and down one goes forward and back and the other one goes left and right. So the blue one goes up and down, the green one goes forward and back, and the red one goes left and right. These are the three dimensions, the three directions we can work in. So what we're going to do is we're going to build Derek a little house here. But first I want to talk about how we can uh, take a look at here. First we're going to look at our orbit tool. This orbit tool here, this allows us to sort of move around and see uh, from different directions. And so we can see up above, we can see down below, we can turn around and see from left and right. I'm going to move it kind of back to how it was, um, maybe a little higher. Then I, we also have our pan tool. Our pan tool lets us sort of move everything up and down, move our whole viewpoint up and down, our camera, so to speak. Our camera is just the direction we're looking from. And then we have the uh, zoom tool that allows us to move in and out for further and closer. When you move up, it goes in. When you scoot back, it goes out. So I'm going to scoot back a little bit. Now, to build, we're going to build Derek a house, and we'll start by giving him a floor. And what we're going to use is this thing called the rectangle tool. The rectangle tool draws rectangles, and it can draw a rectangle in any direction. We're going to draw a rectangle on the ground and make it the floor. So I'll start right here at the origin point. There's no reason I have to start at the origin point, but I will. I'm going to press the button once, and then I'm going to move my pen. You don't have to hold down the mouse. If you just press it once, then you can just move your pin around until it gets to where you want it to be. That's an easier way to do things. So I'm going to stop right here. The, no particular. You'll notice in the lower left-hand corner we have our dimensions marked out, telling us how big our rectangle is. So we right now we have a 16 by 35 foot rectangle, about, which is a reasonable size for a house. So I'll stop right there. But your house could be any size. Now what we want to do, we have a floor. Right now you need to give him some walls and a roof. Now we could make different rectangles, but there's an easier way to do this. We're going to use something called the push-pull tool. This is the push and pull tool. What the push and pull tool does is it actually takes a shape and drags it up and down or drags it out and makes it into a three-dimensional shape. We're making our rectangle into a rectangular prism, which is a, basically a three-dimensional box. So I'm going to click right here. Right? I'm going to move over here. I'm going to click on it once. Again, we can just click on it once and then let go and then just drag up and down. You can practice, pause this and practice this on your own. So now we've dragged the walls up around Derek. Okay? And Derek is inside the house that's a box. And I'm going to stop here. Okay? So now we have a house, right? But we do have a bit of a problem because Derek's stuck inside the house, right? We would like for him to have a door so he could get in and out. We'd also like for him to have some windows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a door. So I'm going to go back to our rectangle tool because the door is a rectangle. I'm going to go right here and at some point towards the middle, I'm going to make a door. I'm going to drag a rectangle up on the side. I'm going to drag a rectangle up on the side here. Okay. And I'm going to stop here, right? So again, you can do that by just clicking once and then dragging up and then stopping, right? So right now, to make things easy, we'll just give him an open house, okay? Uh, later on, he might want a door to keep the weather out. But right now, we're just going to give him an open door because we're making a very simple house here. So what I'm going to do, this is your select tool. This allows you to select different parts of your... Uh, of what you've made, right? So I'm going to click on the select tool. You notice that when I click on something, it uh, that thing um, will be highlighted here. It'll have dots all over it, right? And what we want to do is we want to click on the shape of the door itself, right? And we're going to get rid of it. We're going to delete it, right? Uh, and so the easiest way to do it, we can just hit, we can uh, we can hit our delete key or we can go to edit and we can go to delete and that will be gone, right? 
And now you see it, the house is open, and if you pan down, you'd be able to actually see Derek in the house. Hi, Derek. Now, right, it's a little bit better. Derek can get in and out of the house, right? And uh, later on, we might want to give him an actual door that he can open and close, but we're not going to do that right now because we're keeping things simple. So I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Now, Derek also might like some windows, so let's give Derek some windows. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to our rectangle tool, right? I'm going to come here. I'm going to start somewhere in the middle of the house. And you'll notice this line here. This is going to be, it's, it says that it's square, right? So we want a square window. So I'm going to stop here in this line. That's where it says that it's square. Now, we're, again, we're going to give him open windows here. But what I'd like to do first is I'd like to... Uh, I'd like to make another copy of this window. Um, I'd like to, uh, instead of having to draw it again, because if I draw a different window, it's not going to be the same size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Move and Copy tool. And I'm going to come here. I'm going to hold down my Control key, and I'm going to hit click on it. And then what's going to happen is you'll notice my window. I get a copy of my window. And I'm going to click on it again. And now I've got the window selected. I'm going to go back to my select tool because I want to select both the windows and I want to bring them around the other side of the house. So I'm going to press my shift key. Now I've got, and you'll notice now both of them are selected. I'm going to click edit and I'm going to go to copy. Now I'm going to turn around and I'm going to look at the other side of the house. I'm going to do edit. I'm going to do paste. I'm going to put my windows on the other side. Now Ideally, we would like them to be exactly the same level. They probably won't be because we can't see that, but we'll find out how to do that more exactly later on. So I'm going to click there. Here's my two windows. So you'll notice that right now the whole window is selected, including the outside. If I were to delete these right now, the windows would just go away and it would leave a blank wall again. What you want to do is we want to click the inside of the windows, but we don't want to click the lines around the windows. This will make sure that when we delete it, that we're going to actually <clears throat> get rid of the windows themselves, but we'll leave the lines around the windows. So I'm going to do edit, I'm going to do delete, and you'll notice now we have open windows. I'm going to come around to the other side, to our windows on the other side, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to select the windows using the shift key, and I'll do edit, and I'll do delete, and get rid of those. Now, let's just do one more thing. Let's give him a uh, let's give him a better roof, right? Because we'd, what we'd like to do is we'd like to give him a A-frame roof so because that would look a little cooler. That'll look a little bit more like a house. So what I'm going to do now okay, is I'm going to do one more tool. I'm going to do what's called the pencil tool. The pencil is for drawing a line. Okay. Now something cool that this does, this will tell me when I'm on the edge of the, when I'm on the, edge of the house. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go along here and I'm going to go to the place where we get it turns blue. This means I'm right in the middle of my house. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the thing and then I'm going to go straight up. And I want to make sure that I keep a, a blue line. That means I'm going straight up. And then I'm going to click again right here. Now, what we're going to do here, I'll zoom out a little bit so we can see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into a frame of uh, one one end of the A-frame house. So I'm going to click right here. I'm going to click on the endpoint, and then I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to connect it to the endpoint of the other one. What's going to happen is you're going to see it's going to fill in, right? And then I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to click here, and then I'm going to click right there, and you'll see it's going to fill in. Now what we want to do is <clears throat> we want to extend that all the way across the house. Now the push-pull tool is going to work for this, except that right now it's two different parts because we have the line in the middle. So I'd like to get rid of the line in the middle. So I'm just going to click on this line here, and I'll hold down my shift key, and I'll click on this line here because we don't need it. We're going to get rid of We don't need these lines anymore, so we're going to get rid of them. And then I'm going to delete them. Right? I want to make sure that I only have these two lines selected, right? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come around the other side. I'm going to get my push-pull tool again. I'm going to click on the end of this house. I'm going to pull it out. Oops, I pressed the wrong tool. Sorry, the push-pull tool is this one. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to drag it across until I get to the end here, and then I'll stop. 
and now my house has a roof. It has two windows and it has a dude inside it. Now you can see there's a lot of other fun things you can do here and what I'd like you to do is try and make some changes and add things on to your house to uh, use the features I've had and try and add on new parts to this house. For example, you might want to make a new window over here. You might want to make a window in the back. You might want to add on another part of the house um, <clears throat> and just see what you can make using the tools that I've already showed you.